when people joined our diabetes care program, their stress levels were pretty high. The emotional burden of dealing with the various demands of managing diabetes was high among 58% of people. Most of them were emotionally disturbed and felt burdened. 29% of them were not satisfied with the treatment they were seeking for their health condition and this was causing enough stress. While managing diabetes, following a healthy regimen becomes very important. One needs to stick to a healthy diet, be physically active, take medications on time, monitor blood sugar regularly, etc. All these tasks have to be performed along with the various other tasks and responsibilities which becomes very stressful and burdensome. This is called regimen distress and it was high among 53% of people. Interpersonal issues or conflicts with family and relatives are quite common among people struggling to manage their diabetes. They often do not get adequate support and this causes distress. We noticed that interpersonal distress was high among 28% of people. As we worked on reducing their emotional burden, regimen distress and interpersonal distress along with proper nutrition and fitness interventions, we noticed considerable improvement in their fasting blood glucose, thereby leading to an average reduction of 1.65% in their HbA1c. All these interventions could lead to a 31% reduction in diabetes-related distress. Intensive behavior therapy was used to streamline the daily routine of members along with time management techniques to reduce regimen distress. Several relaxation techniques were used to maintain a calm and composed attitude throughout the program. Cognitive therapies were used to explore the underlying thoughts and beliefs associated with diabetes and its complications and provide solutions which helped in reducing emotional burden. Mindfulness-based interventions were used for better dietary and fitness adherence. Solution-focused brief therapy was used for overcoming various obstacles and reducing overstress among members.